Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. We are here with Rose Stone and her adorable little thistle down. And yes, hiding in the saddlebag with the thistle down is actually Tiger Lily, our cat too. And I think she's pretty curious about all of the uh, magic related tricks that we have been doing with our magician friend over here. So Tiger Lily is probably going to come out to see what's going on today. But hello everyone and welcome to another wonderful week here in Star Stable. So this week's update was more based around some new clothes at the mall and a few new patterns for some of the Lizzie's and some of the other beautiful horses in the world and since I'm pretty content with how many horses we have right now especially because we have silver secret and we're so close to getting Rose Stone up to level 15 and yes I know she's miserable I'm sorry Rose Stone I was so busy this week as you guys can imagine and I wasn't able to log in every day to take care of her but I'm going to start trying to do that more often because I really want to save I know I have so many star star or like uh the star Star coins but I've actually spent like almost a thousand star coins just in trying to take my horse to the vet so no more of that I'm going to try to like show up and just take care of them day to day and I have heard that the new my stable something about your horses not costing you money sending them to horse island that sounds pretty amazing but anyway basically today's update is mostly around clothes so I thought you know what with all the amazing adventures out there in the world for us to tackle, I think today we're going to focus on some quests. So without further ado, Tiger Lily, you stay here for just a second. We're going to come over and continue on with our wonderful friend Isabel Fig. And we're going to see what her and uh, her little monkey want to do so that we can have this big show here in Fort Pinta. Okay, yeah, there they are. I was like, I could have sworn we set things up. Yes, we set up the fireworks. Okay, so let's talk with Isabel and let's see what's next. Mm. There she is. How are you, my little pecan? Oh, I have been so fabulously, extraordinarily, wickedly excited to see you and the beautiful Rose Stone because today's the day. Time to put on a show. Ta-da! Sweetie, I've been meaning to ask you something. What would you say to being, wait for it, in my show as my magician's assistant? What would you say? All right, so it looks like we're about to be a magician's assistant. Do I get a cool outfit? Please tell me I get a cool outfit, Isabel. Oh, you're just so wonderful. I knew you'd say yes. Cupcake, are you ready? Because now it's time for my, sorry, I mean our amazing show. Oh, she's really, <gasps> we're just jumping right into it just like that. Oh gosh, this is exciting. What am I supposed to do, Isabel? Isabel, give me some guidelines. Oh gosh, there's so many people here. Isabel, okay, what do I do? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our fantastical show. Before we continue, may I introduce my magnificently magical, marvelously saga and the beautifully brave, brilliant Rose Stone. Here they are to perform for you a trick of enormous complexity, bound to astound. Oh my goodness. Show them the card trick I taught you. You'll do a fantastic job, darling. I believe in you. Oh my goodness. Okay, card trick. Got it. All right, everyone. Um. All right, they're clapping for me. That's so cute. Please tell me I did it. You did the trick right. Oh, that's so cool. I really thought that was going. Oh, I have a little bit of stage fright standing in front of even that small crowd. I thought that wasn't going to work. Astonishingly, astoundingly amazing. What a trick. Psst. Well done, Pumpkin. Magic must be in your genes. Well, you know, Elizabeth does have some things to say about that. Darling, you were incredible. I'm so proud of you. Now it's time for my fantastical fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen, was that not a supremely sensational trick from my glamorous assistant? Right before your very eyes. Next on our magical journey, I, your very own Isabel Fig, shall lead you down a road of fire, thunder, and lightning. Psst. Sweetie, time to pop over there and light the fuse while I keep the audience distracted. Pumpkin, you're truly something wonderful. Oh, I really hope I do this right. Okay, quick. Okay, do I have... Okay, I've got a lighter. Are we going to do this right? Oh, that's right, because we tangled it all together. Is this really just going to go off fine and just be fun and fantastic? I thought it was going to totally go wrong. This is something really nice that is just going great with Isabel here. Thanks so much. The audience loved the fireworks. I'd never have made such a good job of all this if you weren't there. 
I'm so 100% absolutely positively super happy that I could just explode, sweetie. Are you happy too? What a show we put on together. Usually it would be Dickory that runs around the crowd with my hat, collecting money from those who wish to pay for seeing the show. But today it's down to you. <laughs> You're the sweetest. It's not hard at all. Just ride around with the hat and people will drop money into it if they want to. All right. Oh, and then we might get our very own hat. <gasps> that would be so cute. Okay, and then I need to put it on or... What an amazing show! Oh, there we go! Oh, you were great! You were great! What an amazing show! You were great! Yay! Okay, did we get some- Oh, we got some money! Isabel, here you go! Wow! We got quite a lot of money there! I'd never have believed we get that much! Diggory, did you see this boy? You'll be eating bananas for months after all this income! Well, bananas are pretty cheap too, so that's probably a good thing. You can keep the hat if you'd like. I have my own hat, so I don't need it. Oh, that's so fun. All right. So now we've got our little hat on. You know, I really like Isabel. I thought she was going to be some sort of trickster. I thought she was going to try to like, mm, I don't know, lead us astray or maybe her monkey would. Uh, but so far, it seems like everything's working out really well with her. So let's keep, let's keep seeing what Isabel has to offer us. Sweetie, I'm absolutely 100% insanely happy. The tourists here in Fort Pinta seem to really love our show. But most fantastic of all was you, darling. You were so incredibly fabulous. You've, got, you've clearly got magic within you. Okay, Pumpkin. Now all that's left to do is clean up. After every show, you've got to be sure to pick up after yourself. And whilst it's not the most exciting thing in the world, with your help, it'll be done in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Well, we're not really supposed to leave any traces of what we've been up to here. You're quite simply a star for helping. Thanks, love. Just pick up what's left of the rockets and place them in the wooden box. Thanks, sweetie. Mwah. All right. I don't mind. I mean, you know, maybe... I don't know if she's like... Oh, that's so easy. I don't know if, like, she's not doing any work herself, but she doesn't seem like it. And honestly... Oh, I even put myself in the box. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And honestly, Isabel seems pretty nice compared to the way that some people, bobcat girls, may boss me around quite a bit in this world. Yeah, there we go. All cleared up. Thanks ever so much. Darling, I can't thank you enough for all your help. I'm absolutely, positively, 100% delighted that I met you. Even more delightful was getting to meet you, Rose Stone. I'd love to stay longer, but if I'm ever to have a chance to work with the great Yidris, then I have to keep working hard. You and I will most definitely see each other again, though. I just know it. To say thanks for all your help, I have a little present for you, darling. It's completely fabulous. Here you go. Oh my goodness, it's a little dress, a wonderful stage costume that you can wear as you perform as a magician, a witch, a wizard, or an illusionist. Whatever you'd like to call yourself. Isn't it lovely? Darling, I must make a move now, so I'm off. Take care of yourself. Mwah. Oh, and she's gone. You know, I didn't think I would enjoy her and the monkey, but actually I had a really good time with Isabel, and I like my little outfit. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. That was really fun. All right. So that was, that was surprisingly simple. I thought it was going to be so much more complex and I thought it was going to become like this big giant ordeal. But actually, uh, Ruston, we managed that pretty well. We managed that pretty well indeed. All right. So speaking of giant ordeals and things that we need to deal with, though, what do I need to do? Oh, Elizabeth. Hmm. Should we go talk to Elizabeth? I think we'll go speak with Elizabeth because she'll have the, she'll have the flower pieces. That's right. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and speak with Steve. Hmm. Hmm, you know what? Let's go talk with Penny first. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go talk with Penny about the penny point the pony point, excuse me, not the penny point. We're gonna go talk with Penny about the pony point quest that she has for us. And we might go and meet, I think her sister is the one who is helping her out with that. Up at Pony Point. So let me ride over there and meet with her really quickly. Oh, is that the traveling market? How fun. Alright. Oh, and there's so many cute ponies. Saga, now it's finally time to put together the competition track. Meet me and Polly at Pony Point, please. We need your help. Pony Point is back behind Jarl and Jarl's crypt. Behind, between the crypt and Silver Song River. I'll just fix a couple small things first, then I'll meet you there. All right, so since we're already riding over to go see what's going on with Steve at Steve's farm, we might as well just ride up the river and just have a beautiful afternoon watching the beautiful sunset as it starts coming down across the island. It's quite lovely here. Right, Rose Stone, I'm so sorry you're not in a good mood. I love her sunflowers by the way. I really feel like the sunflowers to me, they're just like permanent Rose Stone accessories. They just fit her so well. Her sunny personality, as we might say. Oh, and it's just so pretty. 
I really love this world. It really is a gorgeous one to be able to come in. And you guys are always so friendly. And I love hearing stories about your horses, too. <laughs> it's just so much fun to hear stories about how you have enjoyed this world and what it means to you and your favorite places to explore. Oh, I, it would be so fun if you could kind of like poke around at the beach and maybe find some buried treasure now and then. We do still have to find, and Silver Secret will never forgive me if I don't take him to do it. But we need to go ahead and get the bottle that's laying around here somewhere. And I need to go up and I need to find the tree that is going to have the name scratched in it in the hollowed woods. So that'll be a special treat for Silver Secret in the future. Aha! There they are! There we go. Hello, ladies! Penny and Polly! Oh, those are actually some really cute names. Penny and Polly of Pony Point. There's a lot of alliteration today between these two and the magician. Hello, Saga. I got a ride with a fishing boat, so I got here faster than I thought. Let's see. There, now the fun work can start. We're gonna put up the jumps, of course, and then put down all the signs and rake everything up nice and clean. There's a lot to do, but with help it should go quickly. Saga, could you take the fences out and put them up? They're so heavy that it would be really great if you could take them all on your horse. That way, Polly and I won't have to carry them all over Pony Point. You can? Thank you. Come back when you're done, and you can be the very first rider to test out the course. All right. So let's see, I have some fence pieces. Is it going to be over here? Where do I put it down? Is it going to be around the corner? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh -huh. All right. So then I think we just kind of write out. Oh, and it's going to take a second to kind of set it up. All right. And then we put down the obstacles. It's a good thing Rose Stone's a good jumper now. All right. Let's go ahead and put this one down. Obstacle number two placed. All right. Around we go, Rose Stone. Alright, and then I think they need one on both sides here, or like one on each side. Whoops, trying to throw down my shirt on the ground. That's not really going to be much of an obstacle for the horses to jump over. Alright, so hang on. Maybe if I come over ha -ha, to the other side. Now I'm using my thinking cap, as they might say. Okay, come on. Alright, we'll go ahead and move this one. What? <laughs> it threw me around to the other side. Rostone, don't you think that's ridiculous, Rostone? Rostone, the, the, the fact that we just tried to climb that cliff is also ridiculous. That's literally not what I wanted to do. Rostone, come on. Come on. There we go, girl. All right. Now she's moving. Now we're moving. All right. So around the beach. And yeah, they're just making us like stand behind each obstacle whenever we're done. So I'll just have to cope with that. All right. So there's that. And then let's go around here. There we go. So I wonder if it's just going to be like a straight race across the beach or are they going to have other things that they're going to have us do? Let's put these down. You know what? It's probably okay to stop by and just help out uh, Polly and Penny because that's another one of the things in Fort Pinta that I have ignored for like months. So we probably need to go ahead and get that done. And I think you guys would be thrilled to pieces if it involved getting a new pony too. We don't really have a pony yet. And there is the wild pony I've been putting off getting. So I don't know. If we got one pony, I might go ahead and go get like two ponies at the same time. I could see myself being comfortable with that. All right. So let's go ahead and race back. <laughs> we can kind of get like a little preview of the race if we go this direction. Rosestone's a pretty good jumper, even when she's not feeling like she's in the best of moods. Do 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 do. Good job, Rosestone. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. Turn, jump. Turn, jump. Good girl. Okay, and somewhere down here, there they are. All right, Penny, we're all done. Perfect, and this is going to be super duper. Now we can test out the track. Speak with Polly. This is super duper exciting. Polly? Okay, Saga, are you ready to test out our pony race? We're really excited to see how it goes. I hope it's fun. We've been planning this for months now. You need to ride a pony to be able to ride the competition, but I'm sure you understand that by now, right? Oh, one more thing. I don't know if you've learned to jump with your regular horse yet, but it is possible to ride through the pony competition without jumping at all. The course is easier if you can jump, but we have designed it so that both beginners and expert riders can enjoy the course. Good luck. Okay, the thing is, I think I would need a pony. Oh, all right. So there we go, you guys. This will be the quest where we need the pony. And I don't think the ponies from the island count is what I've been told. But I would love to go ahead and get a pony from the island. Um fairly soon so we'll think about that we'll think about that all right and i'm actually going to call for pickup 
and go over to Steve's farm. We're actually getting quite a bit done today. I, I, it's actually kind of surreal. I thought we would have like the entire weekend to hang out with Isabel, but no, no, things are a little bit more direct today. Steve, all right, Steve, tell me a shipment of cabbage. Steve, tell me about this. You know what? The cabbage has arrived. Take this pile of cabbage and put them into the holes in the field. As the vet said, then we'll see if the small creatures will act friendly towards you. All right. Thank you, Steve. Oh, I have a whole pile of cabbages now. <gasps> I'm feeding cabbages to chipmunks. I love the diversity. One second, we're throwing like parties with all sorts of magic festivals. The next second, we're filling holes full of cabbages for chipmunks. And we were just setting up like pony races. Oh, this is just wonderful. I love all the things that are to do. Hmm. <coughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I'm a little allergic to the cabbages. <laughs> oh, that took me unawares. All right, let's go ahead. Hey, what's honking at me? There's nothing here. It's the ghost trailer. The ghost trailer is back. All right, so we just filled up all of the holes. Oh, they're so cute. There's so many of them. Steve, Steve, they came out of the holes. I just saw them. So they peeked up from the holes and seemed happy? Great. What do you think about letting them live behind the barn? In the corner of the old wall where the race starts. Then we won't have to walk very far when it comes time to give them cabbages. Here, take these signs and put them up around here so no one walks or rides in this area and gets hurt. We don't want any tourists getting stuck either. Didn't we have an issue with that? And that's what like started this too, is tourists got stuck and um, that's when they... They learned that they shouldn't go ahead. All right, there we go. This is so cute. Steve goes so far out of his way to make sure that he can take care of all of the, the chipmunks and the birds and the mice and everything else that happened to be around his farm. I really like it. All right, a warning sign. Warning, adorable chipmunks nearby. Can I go see them again? I want to go look at the chipmunks again really quickly, if I can. So let's go take a peek. Because they're so cute. Where are they? Where are they? No, I'm stuck in a bush. <laughs> Rosestone, this was not part of the plan. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, I should have stayed over here longer when they when they were here and we had cabbages. I'm out of cabbages, so they, they have no time for me. I have carrots, but I don't think Thistledown would forgive me if I gave away his carrots. All right, so let's come over here. Steve, new home. Well done, Zaga. Now we've made new home for our small friends. A bathtub for the chipmunks? What? You think we should give them a bathtub? Ah, the vet said that they like to take a bath because they get so dirty when they dig. Yes, that sounds fair. Barney at the silo has some old water troughs, and I'm pretty sure he'll give one to us. Barney used to be outside a silo to the east of us, not far away. Oh, that's right. You've met him before. Yes, I have. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this really quickly. Because I am so excited to give a new home to the chipmunks. Yes, that is that is a hundred percent something I would love to do And now I am going to have to think about getting a new pony I do want to get a wild pony So what we might do this weekend is get a wild pony and if I cannot run the pony ra race with a wild pony Then we'll go ahead and we'll go buy a pony as well because I don't mind getting two ponies at the same time I usually balk at getting new horses because I like to save my star coins just in case somebody I really really like comes out but we do need to get a pony. Barney? An old water trough? As, in, uh, as a bathtub for chipmunks? Steve seems to be getting weirder each day. I think he's using my grain for other things than feeding the birds. Like what? Of course you can take the old water trough. I think there's one behind the silo. If you can find one and it's not broken, you can take it. Alright, thank you! Hunt for the perfect bathtub! Again, things I never thought we'd be doing. Oh, okay, I found it. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, Rosa, you've got so much momentum. There we go. We'll just run through this bush. All right. Man, I love how you go over the same areas again and again as the weeks go by, but it's so fun that you've learned a little bit more about the characters. You've learned a little bit more about the land. You just have a different perspective of kind of what you're doing and you have a different perspective of the the area and it's really fun to be able to see the changes like the fact that the gondola is built now I can't see it from here but I know it's there and I built that gondola it was really hard there were a lot of steps to building that gondola so it was really fun all right let's go ahead and give the bathtub to the chipmunk that's a fine trough uh interior decoration so you can put it right there as the chipmunk's future home all right, where are we going to put it? 
Did I just get... Oh, it's so cute! A trough that won't leak. Oh, okay. All right, and we'll go ahead and put it over here. Now the chipmunk... Oh, it's so tiny! The chipmunk's in my yard. They're gone right now. I think they're already, like, entering hibernation, perhaps, because it's gotten so cold at night. But the chipmunks, when they would come to my yard, would totally hide inside of my flower pots all the time. It was the cutest thing. So now it's done. Okay, can I see the chipmunks? Take care, take the rest of the cabbage and put it on the chipmunks' new home so we can see if they want to go there. I am so okay with this. I want to see chipmunks. Oh, there's a pile of cabbages. Okay, got it. Oh my gosh. Yes, you guys. You guys, you guys, cabbages and chipmunks. I had no idea. Do I get to look at them forever now? I will, I will be beyond thrilled if this is the view that I get forever. If I get to stare at chipmunks, I will be so happy. Steve, what do you think? What do you think? How nice that they moved in here so fast. I think they like both you and the cabbages a lot. I hope they'll live and be happy here in their new home so no one will fall down in holes anymore. Thank you again for the assignment. Well done. You can come back and help me feed them if you want to. <gasps> for real? Repair the field? Saga, I almost forgot. The old holes that the chipmunks made have to be filled. They're too dangerous. Take this shovel and fill them. When you come back, I'll have a nice reward for you. Oh, and he'll have some new jeans for us. Oh, wow. They're very purple. <laughs> All right. And we'll go ahead and do that quest next time, you guys. But hopefully we will be able to feed the chipmunks in the future. I had no idea that I'd be able to feed these little ones or else I would have pushed so hard. But it was actually, it was actually a big battle to get to this point so that we would be able to feed chipmunks. I mean, we had to get Miss Morse married for crying out loud and build the gondola. And it was just, it was a big ordeal to get here. So I'm glad that we have managed to get our little chipmunks moved in. And I really like that I get to look at them. And we'll have to see what kind of really fun quest we get to do next time, including potentially going to get a pony and maybe two ponies. I'm going to have to think about that. But I think that there is a very high likelihood that I'll probably go back to South Hoof and we will complete the hermit's quest and we may adopt one of the ponies there and we'll probably go to Fort Pinta and adopt a pony over there too because I have had my eyes on some of the Fort Pinta ponies for a very long time. All right so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!